That was something despiteful. Some, something very shameful. Remember, they whipped him. They even got him naked. They whipped that beard apart. They, they opened. Exactly. Remember. So he said, despising the shame. That was a very shameful thing. So that, that, this is the same. Why would I have a reminder of that? So since that's what I said, what should you do with that price? Exactly. See, that was a very shameful for the all praises. Hey, give up, give up, give a clap for the sister because that is right. That is true. Now let me get marriage. Then we're gonna go into Deuteronomy 22 and then the uh, the the process. Go ahead. Because let me add, you said an ex-boyfriend. Now mind you, we said we got we were trying to build a strong nation, right? But but this is what's gonna really build a strong nation. Hear this. I don't know if you heard me earlier or y'all didn't get here on time when I said it. Go ahead. It's the book of Hebrews. Chapter 13 and verse 4. Uh -huh, go ahead. Marriage is honorable and all. It says marriage is honorable and all. Because... Okay, that means you don't have to go to get a certificate you, to be you, married. You cannot find boyfriend... Yeah. A girlfriend and boyfriend in the Bible. Because that's not a commitment. That actually... So where can I get one of those Bibles from? Uh, anywhere. It's a regular uh, KJB 1611. King no. James. King James. Uh, King, ja King James. James. Yeah, King, King James. James. Uh, 1611. Yeah, didn't King James um, okay the crucifixion of his own mother? No, those are nothing but rumors. Rumors. Yeah, go ahead. We'll, we'll clarify that, but let's deal with this first and then go with that. Go ahead. Marriage is honorable and all. Uh -huh. And the bed undefiled. Now it says marriage is honorable and all. There's no boyfriend and girlfriend according to the Bible. Right, and right, then what? Right, right. And the bed undefiled. And now you now the bed undefiled. You can do whatever you want sexually with your husband or your wife as long as it's under the laws of Christ, right? Right, because remember, uh, without having a uh, marriage certificate, right? The man can get you pregnant and still go go away. Have nothing. And now you get a single parent household. Now that's why y'all gotta get to know each other, then get married. You cannot be having sex. That's called what? Fornication. You are fornicating because you are not married. Wow. That you can if uh, he can have he can have sex with you. They jump to the next one yeah. and the next right. one and the next one because there's no commitment. What is why I want to get married? The girl is married and the guy is not. Huh? What if the girl is married and the guy is not and they fornicate? They both have fornicated. Go ahead. Marriage is honorable and all. Huh? And the bed undefiled. If the woman is married, that's called adultery, sis. That's called adultery. Go ahead, read that. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So you can get judged by God. How can that happen? Now, how can somebody get judged if they commit adultery or fornication? What's the word? Adulterer. Uh-huh. In this world. But you did make me. Okay, okay. But, I, but now yeah. somebody got to repent though, you know? Now, as they do to know, now we got to repent. You got to stop doing it. Because it says, God will judge them. How can that happen? We got so many, so many diseases in our days. You got, you got AIDS, you got chlamydia, gonorrhea. You got so many diseases that can happen nowadays, right? Or, remember, when it comes, jealousy can be a strong emotion. So if you get caught, that man can actually go into a, something that you don't want. Maybe he might, be, he might have a gun, might come, uh, kill one, uh, the man or the woman or both. Remember, jealousy can be a strong emotion. So that's why you should, God, you got don't have to do that, right? Now, let me get, let me get into, um, I know I said the, the, the marriage and so on. Let's go into the crosses. Now, let me ask you, why your sisters, uh, what is the significance? And we'll touch, we'll go back into that as well. Sister, Sister Trisha, we'll go back into that. Uh, I'm sorry, what's your name again? So I didn't ask. 
Julie. The Lois. The Lois, Julie, and Trisha. The Lois, Julie, and Trisha. All right. Now, now let me ask you, what's the significance behind those uh, crosses? Behind the cross that you guys see, you got a uh, rosary right there, oh, yeah, a cross. Yeah, yeah, Because I'm faithful to the Lord, to the God of I do to do things around. If he knocked me down to my knee and brought me back. Yeah, when he brought me see. back, that when he brought me back, I left my room in there and asked God to give me for what I do. God okay, okay. All right. Now, yes, sis. It's like I'm in school. <laughs> Hey, that's head. fine. Trust me. Us, I didn't know none of this. I didn't know none of this. Trust me. Until I came with these guys, these people right here, and they taught me. Now I'm over here trying to teach y'all, right? Yeah, now, I think because of, uh, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. The crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Okay. You said, uh, and you said a lot. Now let's find out, though. Let's, let me get her back, and then we're going to go to Romans 12 and 2. Go ahead. Go ahead. The book of that, sisters. This is the book of Habakkuk. Chapter 2 and verse 18. Mm -hmm. What profit the graven image? He said, what, what is the profit of a graven image, right? Like, the cross is a graven image. Somebody graved it. Go ahead. That the maker thereof have graven it. Because I, somebody has to grave it. Go ahead. The molten image. And a teacher of lies. Said, the molten image and a teacher of lies. Now, I'm going to tell you how that cross is a teacher of lies. Now, I'm gonna tell you, she, 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 she said, it tells me that she knows something already. A cross, because let me ask you, a cross, right? Teacher of lies. Whenever somebody see a cross, which image do they see in a cross? Which Jesus, though? Yeah, right. You always imagine a white image of Christ. Remember, the cross, where is the image where they destroy the sweaters with the, uh, the cross? Now, m mind you, Christianity and Catholic and Catholicism was implemented once we got conquered. Remember, they came into us and they said, "Hey, you either accept our God or you die." So a lot of our people what got forced into Christianity into Catholicism, and that's how. Remember, they used to come up with the cross. That's a very grievous. There you go. Remember, remember that was capital murder at that time. That was uh, he died. He he died a black man a black man's death. He got lynched. He got hanged on the tree. He that's what happened. That's a black man lynching. He got lynched. That was a capital murder right at that time but because he wasn't the only one who died on the cross, right? He was he was him, and there was more because that was a regular punishment at that time. All of us were being killed on the cross. Now, we know that that image is a teacher of lies. Now, watch this. Romans 12 and 2. Go ahead. Then why do they have to pick that in, in, in the movies of Christ? Oh, you're right. That's why it says it's a teacher of lies. Them that comfort us, they want you to keep on believing on that cross. Remember, they don't want you to believe in the, in the right image. They don't want you to believe in the right and the right guy. They figured it right unison. Huh? They figured that they figured that cross would go unison with the uh, with the name of God. No. Uh, I see what we're saying. I see what we're saying. But that is an image of but, life. But, but 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 not to put the a man hanging with a noose would be uh, coinciding with the image of God. Please. Now watch through this. And let's say if uh if your boss brother got murdered by by murder, somebody stabbed him, right? Would, would you, exactly, you, would you want to keep a reminder and hang that on your neck? Now, read that. The book of Hebrews, chapter 12 and verse 2. Looking unto Jesus, author and finisher of our faith, uh -huh. who for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross. Right, right, he endured that crucifixion, right? He had to carry the cross and all that, go ahead. Despising the shame. What? Despising the shame. He, Christ, even Christ, despised that shameful thing. He despised that cross because remember, that was something despiteful, some, something very shameful. Remember, they whipped him. They got him naked. They whipped that beard apart. They, they opened. Exactly. Remember, so he said, what? With again, despising what? Despising. 
the shame. The spicy, the shame. That was a very shameful thing. So that the, the sister said, why would I have a reminder of that? So sis, that's what I said. What should you do with that first? Exactly. See, that was a very shameful for the sister. All praises. Hey, give up, give up, give a clap for the sister because that's yes, right. That is true. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 